It's raining in Boston. The rain forms puddles and runs along the streets. Have you ever wondered where it goes? In many places, rain or storm water is absorbed into the ground. But in the city, a lot of it enters the sewer system. In older neighborhoods of Boston, a single pipe carries storm water from roofs, gutters, and paved areas, as well as sanitary sewage from sinks, toilets, and showers. This pipe is called a combined sewer. If a lot of rain falls, or if it falls very quickly, the combined sewer can't carry all of the flow. To prevent backups into homes and streets, combined sewer overflows, or CSOs, act as a safety valve. But they contribute pollution by releasing both the sewage and storm water into nearby rivers or Boston Harbor. CSOs also present a threat to public health, especially if they're near recreational areas, such as swimming beaches or sailing clubs. One of the simplest ways to combat this problem is to reduce the amount of storm water that enters the sewers. Eliminating CSOs is a two-step process. First, the Boston Water and Sewer Commission, BWSC, is separating the storm drains from the sewer system. Contractors are installing new drain pipes in the streets that will collect and discharge only storm water to a river or the harbor. The older pipe is now used as the sewer line, carrying only sanitary waste to the region's Deer Island Wastewater Treatment Plant. The next step is to remove even more water from the sanitary sewer pipes. Some of this water comes from downspouts or leaders that collect rainwater from roofs and gutters. It doesn't make sense to send this relatively clean water to the wastewater treatment plant. Removing these inflows is now mandatory. BWSC's downspout disconnection program is designed to help customers comply with this regulation with little effort. Disconnecting downspouts is a simple process. The property owner can hire a licensed plumber to perform the disconnection, or BWSC can do the work at no cost. Hi, I'm Tom Bagley, the Community Services Manager for the Boston Water and Sewer Commission. In some neighborhoods of Boston, Boston Water and Sewer Commission is currently separating sores and disconnecting downspouts. In other areas, the sores were separated several years ago, but the downspouts still need to be disconnected. The downspouts are connected to the sewer through the building foundation, like the one you see here. They can also be connected to a pipe in the ground. On some buildings, all the downspouts hook up to the sewer. On others, only one or two are connected improperly. As a first step in the disconnection program, Boston Water and Sewer Commission's consultants conduct a sidewalk visual survey. They are looking for homes and businesses in a neighborhood with improperly connected downspouts. Once the survey is complete, Boston Water and Sewer Commission notifies property owners by letter that their downspouts may need to be disconnected. Sometimes more investigation is necessary to confirm the visual survey. Property owners then sign and return a waiver form indicating that the commission should do the work or that the customer prefers to hire a plumber. Customers who choose to have BWSC's licensed contract that perform the disconnection will be notified before the work begins. One of our inspectors is always present during the disconnection procedure. Customers can make an appointment to go over specific questions or they can be at home during the work. Yes, we will. Let's take a look at how a typical disconnection works. Larry, can you take us through the disconnection procedure? Sure thing. The disconnection itself is very simple. It takes about 30 minutes for each downspout. The first thing we do is speak with the property owners to see if they have any special concerns or requests. It's great. It'll match my downspout. Yeah, it matches right? your downspout. Okay, yeah. To disconnect the downspout, we simply cut the line where it enters the existing cast iron pipe in the ground are, in this case, the building's foundation. The pipe and the building's foundation can be cut flush to the wall or just above the elbow where it turns to enter the building. The EWSC leaves this decision up to the customer. Hey. 
Then we place expandable plug into the remaining pipe and seal it with concrete. Using materials that match existing downspout, we add an elbow and extensions to direct the rainwater away from the building's foundation. Finally, we add a splash block at the end of the pipe. But the job's not done yet. Once we've completed the disconnection, we clean up. To the next house. Okay. We remove any work debris and restore the landscaping if it has been disturbed during the work. Larry, great job. Hey, thanks for walking us through the process. Hey, happy to do it. As you can see, the disconnection process is easy and safe to do. BWSC is separating sores in many neighborhoods of Boston. If you have questions when you receive a notice letter and waiver, please call our Community Services Department at area code 617-989-7000. We'll be happy to answer your questions or talk about your concerns. Thanks for joining me. BWSC is working to comply with the Federal Clean Water Act to bring environmental benefits to your neighborhood. These simple changes will greatly reduce the number of CSOs and improve the quality of Boston's natural resources. Disconnecting downspouts will replenish groundwater that supplies our rivers and streams. Stormwater will stay in the watershed instead of going to Deer Island for treatment. The result will be cleaner bay beaches and improved water quality. So now you know what happens to the rain, where it has been going and where it should be going. The Boston Water and Sewer Commission appreciates your support in getting the job done.